Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Belgium. I'm going to introduce you to the law. Is this? I guess this would be the loft manager, Lisbeth and Luke van der Plaats, yes, Belgium. I, I'm the father of Lisbeth. You're the father. You're the loft manager. Yes. A, at any point, you could be fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what part of Belgium are we in? We are in the north of Antwerp. The north of Antwerp. Very close to the border with Holland. Okay. Uh, the area of Breda. Okay. And uh, what? What do you specialize in in racing? In 2012 I started here racing on the sprint and that continues three years. I still like but uh, since 2015 I do also the middle distance races. Okay so you like the, the sprints and middle distance and your middle distance how far does that take you in kilometers or miles? Uh, in miles that must be uh, 250 miles. 250 miles, that's the cutoff. Yes, but this year in 2022, I will start on the national races. And, and the national races are how far? Uh, that, uh, that will be the great middle distance, uh, like Bourges Chateau. That means 350 miles, 400 miles. So the pigeon's real good. Hopefully, Cons I will. Consistent pigeons. Now, you've had a, a lot of people have talked very highly about you. Thank you. They say in these windy conditions, you're the man to beat. <laughs> <laughs> now, Thank you. Now, we're going to look here, and I see we have the, the lofts. Which loft is this in front of us? Uh, that loft, uh, it, the left is for hands, and then the, the, the two right are racer so cox with the wood. The hands are on the left. Yes. The cocks are on the right, and, and then, then the, the first left left from the door Yes, is youngsters. So you've got the hens, you've got in the middle there the youngsters, and then the cocks over here. Yes. Okay, and then these lofts? That was the first loft I had here. Uh, that was uh, for young birds. Yes. But uh, afterwards, I I kept uh, young birds on on their loft, and they f they flew there five years. Five years. And uh, breeding is what in here? Uh, also there. You breed everywhere. Okay. It's, it's, it's man, you're in an open area. Okay, so let's go, let's, let's, let's see. First I do the dogs inside, because oh. they, they want to run. They are gypsies. They run away? <laughs> yes. Oh, so as you guys see, the lofts. Jog, come. We're gonna show you here, Lisbeth and Luke van der Plaas. Come. In Belgium, it's a super windy day here. Super at sprint, middle distance, and national racing. All right, Luke. Now we go into the loft. You're welcome. Ah, thank you. At the moment, uh, uh, the whole team is on on X. They they are coupled uh, almost the first of February. Okay. Very small section. Holy. Small. Yeah, not not big. Uh, how many how many pairs are in here? Sixteen. Sixteen pairs. And how how large is this section in feet? Uh, I think uh, three and a half meter. But it's big enough. Big enough, yes. And the, the, the floors, you, you, you scrape every day? Uh, yes, two times. Two times a day. So you're very good with a scraper. Yes, I try to do. And this is the widowhood cock section? Yes. Uh, watch to this hand. She's a, she's a special color. She's 2015. She was a good racer. Super racer, eh? Yes. What's the and what's the bloodlines of your pigeons? 
Uh, I started in 2012 with pictures of Leo Hermans, Dirk van Dijk, uh, Stickers Donkers, and I bought also two very good cocks from a small loft with good pictures. The name is Nose. That loft was also first national champion and first world champion for Sili Laga. Okay, now these Widowhood cocks, how do you fly them? You fly them, wh what's the system with the cocks? And now they are coupled the 1st of February. They will breed the youngsters. That means they are on Widowhood almost the 1st of April. Then they stay on Widowhood till begin of August and later in the season uh, the couples uh, have a, they, they breed again then I race with some of them uh, on the autumn races in Belgium the, the name is Tour of Belgium that that races are in four directions around the clock and, yes and they are very popular Now these, these cocks here that you fly Widowhood, it's just regular Widowhood, they come home to see the hens? Uh, but some of the hens race also. Uh, they, they do both, uh, but not all. Not all. So som sometimes the cocks come home to the hens, sometimes there's no hens. That can happen. But uh, I, I changed a little bit the system to to take care more for the cocks. Uh, now I have 16 breeders who are coupled with racing hands and that means the cocks are always home when the pigeon arrive home. Okay. Uh, maybe it's better to, to keep the uh, motivation. Right, motivations. So you sometimes you make sure there's birds home for the for the birds when they come. Is what you're saying? Yes. Somebody's yes, yes. always here to say hello. Yes. Uh, and uh, the pigeons are very calm. Uh, this is a good pair with with a good hen coupled with uh, a good cock. Oh yeah! Look at this, eh? Look at this. Beautiful. Good racing pair? Uh, yes. Uh, they they both are ace pigeons. I have two youngsters for, for you. Off of this pair right here? Of that pair. Look at this, guys. Now, ace pigeons, what does that mean here in your area? What is an ace pigeon? How, to become an ace pigeon, how do you earn this? Uh, they, they must... Uh, yeah, the pigeons with the best res results are the ace pigeons. Huh? So they they did on the on the autumn races on the tour of Belgium. Uh, that means they must be very intelligent to go. And, and and for people who don't understand, the tour of Belgium is four different directions. Yes, correct. You you go to the club and you give the. Uh, pigeons to the organization and after the basketing of the pigeons uh, they uh, they take uh, a box and they they do all the possible races in that box and one hand take uh, the the balls and at the end you know where the place of liberation is so can it be always the same place or does it depend everything depends on what they pull out uh, everything depends and it's very honest uh, eight possibilities uh, and then they took seven and what left is uh, is the place for the next week yes so for tomorrow for tomorrow ah and it's very important when you pull some money and you think the wind is like this and it's the direction much. is completely different that is not so you so have to pull before they even draw yes wow that's not so easy to manage no. I go also to Berlar that's a popular location for that I think 150 ventures come and they do pull money from 25,000 euro <laughs> Uh, for one race, huh? Yes, so big money. Yes, it's... Or good money. Good money, yes. Play money. 
And you've done, how have you done in the tour of Belgium? You've I did, done okay? Yeah, I did good. Um, <laughs> oh, look at how humble you are. You did good, of course you did. The Guys, he did very well. <laughs> you don't even look at it, he's blushing now. He's getting shy. There's no sun here today, except for Luke's cheeks. They're, they're rosy red. There, there was a race, the last race of the season. I had a big team in competition. I had 58 pigeons. And then we were waiting uh, with some friends also. And a whole group of pigeons came to the loft. Uh, that were almost 20. Some friends said that cannot be good. Uh, you must have two or one pigeon to win the first. But they managed. They won the first 15 against 600 pigeons. It was good feeling. It was a good feeling, yes. So you fly the Widow Cox now in the tour of Belgium. Can you fly old pigeons and young pigeons? Yes. Any pigeons? Everything is mixed. Everything is mixed. Everything is even. Yes. Normally in Belgium, the system in the season, in the normal season from April till August, uh, every pigeon fly in its own category. Uh, the old against the old. And then when the young start, they don't race against the old. But in the Tour of Belgium, every pigeon is a pigeon. They do in the same race. And how many thousand pigeons get released at the Tour of Belgium? Not so many. Uh, because there are three or four clubs in Antwerp who do organization. And they almost have different locations for liberation. That means they come from the south. Uh, that's a normal direction here. Right. Uh, then it's very easy. But when they come from the north, they are not used. And they, when the weather is not so good, it's not so easy. Right. That, that kind of races are, the, are used by long distance races to train the young birds. For smarts. Uh, they say it's very good for the future when they Yes, this know is what Emil Denny says to me. He loves flying that race for the intelligence. Yes. Okay. So you you're the same way. So does each area draw a different name? So you guys it's not like ten thousand pigeons together. No, it's it's no, your local no. areas they draw. Yes. Okay. But uh, in that kind of races uh, everybody from whole Belgium can come also when they are from <coughs> different uh, area okay uh, they can do that can be a, a big advantage right uh, I have a lot of memories with that races it, it happened one time I did very good with very good result and then afterwards a, a member from other area came and he took the first eight wow. but his his pigeons had uh, the wind in the tail and uh, most of the pigeons had the wind on wind on the nose so yes harder obviously uh, yes can't be one that's not so you cannot compare but that's that's special on that kind of races. Yeah, well, hey, so so this is your Widowhood Cock team. I have another one. Huh? I have, you have two. two. Oh boy, he's got two. Again, you smell no pigeon in this loft whatsoever. It's not a big loft, very, very small. It's a very happy loft, you can tell. The pigeon's super calm. Let me ask you a question, Luke. Yes. How much time do you spend in this, in these two sections a day? Not too much. In the morning, uh, now the pigeons start to come and fly out. But in the winter time, from November till uh, end of January, they stay in the loft. Uh, I I can do in half an hour. You can do in half an hour. Okay. All together. Now, when you start letting out your widowhood cocks, how how do they fly? Uh, in in the beginning they do not too much uh, 
but I I do that now I bring the yearlings in the in, uh, in the beginning of the year I bring the yearlings to the loft uh, at uh, 15 January okay uh, and now they are coupled with with hands who know the loft then it's very easy to make them used with with the section okay with, with the new section so you'll bring the young cocks from young birds you put them in here and you pair them up to the hands that have been here a season or two yes yes, yes. okay and, and that way it breaks the cocks very easy yes yes and then they 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 follow the hands and it's a very good system to uh, you don't have work with it it goes easy and what kind of feed uh, you feeding nowadays uh, i give from van robais van robais feed is very good uh, i i know he uh, the the manager there also very good uh, it's the light feed at the moment not too much because at the moment end of february they are on the eggs when they have the youngsters i i give breeding mix now there's no draft in this loft you see the cobwebs here moving very lightly it's, and the wind today has to be what would you say 40 or 50 kilometers no no almost 100 almost what okay 100 kilometers and if you look here in this loft you look at the the cobwebs nothing is moving very little up in the top there you see up in the top it's moving a bit this loft breathes breathes beautifully you scrape the floors twice a day yes twice a day morning and evening so you're in good condition Lisbeth makes you scrape them, eh? <laughs> yes? <laughs> yes, we do our best. You do our best. I'm gonna tell you, when I when I pick a pigeon, I really like this guy right here. It's a yearling. Boy, what a nice pigeon, eh? It's just, for some reason, oh, and the hen is beautiful too. <laughs> this is nice. It's a yearling. Uh, it just has a look, maybe no good. I don't know. Oh, yeah, look at the pigmentation. <laughs> How did he do as youngster? Uh, he did good. Good but, pigeon? But he is not raised so much. He did only five times uh, 130 kilometers. I think I must raise my youngsters more in the future. But they are they are trained. They are trained. Now, do you prefer what old uh, yearlings and old birds? Yearlings, 2-year-olds, 3-year-olds? Yes. Yes. I, I raised them maybe 6 years. Uh, not only yearlings and 2-year, but uh, I I keep the good pigeons in the racing loft as long as possible. Well, I'm going to tell you that's going to be a super pigeon. I hope. I think he's going. What's his What's his last three digits? I got to because when I call you next year, you're going to seven o seven. James <laughs> Bond. Seven o seven. I picked him. I looked here when I looked into the corner and I looked. He gave me that look, eh? Uh -huh. The birds are very. Uh, oh, very good character. Very calm. Yes, they are calm. They are not nervous pigeons. Now, if you have a nervous pigeon, do you like this or no? Uh, I almost never have nervous pigeons. You don't like it? No. No, it, not it, too much. If you get one that's nervous, what do you find? When it's a good result pigeon, it's okay for me. Eh? But <laughs> normally you don't see it? No. Uh, you. I think a lot of ventures make the pigeons nervous. When they are hard with the pigeons and stressed, they they receive nervous pigeons. Okay. And I find uh, when you come in the loft, you're very calm. You're a very calm man, and you see it when you come in. I'm a, and I'm an excitable person. But these pigeons, they're super. This is why we are here, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions.
the best of the best on the windiest day. Maybe it's not the nicest day, but we're in heaven yet again. Lisbeth, Luke Vanderplatz. So this is your old, your widowhood Cox two sections. That must be enough. Hey, I don't, I don't think we need to show anymore. You guys see very simple, nothing fancy. No, no, not fancy. Not fancy, super quality pigeons, very calm pigeons, very nice loft, simple clean. When you take a deep breath in, you would not know you are in a pigeon loft. I look. I, I must take care for the dust also. Uh, when it's a lot of dust in the loft, that would not be good for me. Uh, I try to take care. Okay, so now I want to thank you for showing us this widowhood uh, section. Very nice. You can already tell the quality of the pigeons, second to none. I want to thank you for showing us this. Thank you. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are with Lisbeth and Luke van der Plaats of Belgium. We now, we looked at the Widowhood team, the Cox. Now we look the youngsters. You, you breed early youngsters? I coupled uh, the parents uh, almost 15 December. Okay. And now at the end of February, I did 40 couples. I have 70 youngsters here. 70 youngsters? 70. I had 72, but I killed two. I was thinking they were not good enough. Yeah? Okay, yes. They were healthy, but not not the best, not my favorites. Not your favorites. So if they're not your favorites, you remove them from the loft. Yes. Now when you say the youngsters aren't your favorite, what are you looking for in not your favorite? What does that mean? Uh, when they have an intelligent uh, face, that's nice. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, and they must, they must do everything. Uh, when they are too stupid to, to, to eat or to drink, I don't like. So if a pigeon's too stupid to eat or drink, it's removed. So if the bird's going cheep, 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 loud, also, that bothers you. Bye yeah. bye. <laughs> well, you know what? You and me, we speak the same language. Do you show them where the water is or no? You just put the water out. Uh, in the in the first three days, I had two old hands here. And they uh, showed them, they, uh, they showed. They, they showed them and when some of the babies, they were young enough, they were uh, 21 days or something like that. When there was one thirsty baby, the, the hands could help. But now it's over with old hands here. They must find their own way. They must find their own way. Makes sense. But they eat very good. They eat very good. Um, so you don't show them the water. You give them any medication? Uh, no, no, not yet. Vaccinations? Uh, when uh, next week, when they are 35 days, I will give them first injection with uh, rota uh, against the rota virus. Then they build up. Uh, they, they will be stronger afterwards against uh, adeno, etc. And after when they are. Uh, 50 days, they receive second injection, that will be injection against Paramixo. That means in, in two weeks they receive two injections. Two injections, okay. When will you uh, start to let these go out? They come out. They go out already? Uh, I do this. How do you let them out? Let's just see this. In, in the morning, uh, this is like that. And uh, the most intelligent come and watch there and go back. 
Uh, this is very easy. Very easy. So when you so for racing, you slide that down, obviously, and they come through the bobs. Yes, or you this yes, folds yes, down. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. Yes. So you let them come out into the Avery, let them go out onto the board. Yes. Let them do what they want. Uh, this this one is from Dempster. Dempster, okay. Dempster Company. And how how long will you leave the youngsters out? So tomorrow morning they're in the darkening, correct? No. You're not uh, going to darken them. Uh, I will not darken this one. But the next round I will do. Okay, because these ones basically are in darkening now. Yes. It's like a natural darkening because yes. they're early. Everything, everything is natural now. Okay. Uh, and they, they, they keep the feathers till, till August without problems. But the second round, I start uh, when, when the young pigeons come on their loft. After the parents, I start immediately. Uh, that's more important than this round, I think. Uh, Otherwise, they will lose the feathers. You can tell they're super healthy. Nice, nice clean waddles. They are very good. Yes. Now, how long, when you let, start letting them out, how long will you leave them out on their own for? What do you say? Uh, how long will you leave them outside when you open the open the window? Uh, not so long, half an hour. And then you bring them in? Yes. And you're feeding them twice a day? Yes. And nothing in the water? Uh, no, 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 nothing. And in this section here, there's how many? Uh, about 70. About 70, okay. Uh, I had 72 from uh, 40 pairs. That means that's good breeding. Eh? Huh? Okay, yeah. So the health well, you can feel it in the, in the uh, race birds, the health is super. The health is, is good, yes. How hard will you uh, train these youngsters when you start to road train? Uh, or, or loft fly. How long first in loft flying? How much they loft fly per day? Once a day? Uh, once a day, yes. Uh, but I must uh, do more than before. I, I, I was too easy with the youngsters. Now this year I have the plan to 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 do a lot of races with them. Okay, so you're law flying, you let them out every day at the same time? Yes. Okay, and, and, and also with, with bad weather. You let them out in bad weather? Yes. Why? They must be used with that. Okay. Uh, today, it's a lot of rain and a lot of wind. Uh, I had some lofts outside flying out. They have to get used to it. Yes. And you'll loft fly them every day at the same time for as long as they want to go and exercise. Maybe an hour, hour and a half of flying. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, How long do you like to see them fly for as babies? Healthy babies can do one hour, yeah. but what more is not necessary for me. Okay, so you like them to do just under an hour of love fly? They come in, they eat, they drink, and yes. then that's it for the day? Yes. Okay, and then when you take them down the road, by the car, how long? How many times? Uh, different, uh, it depends, but many times. Now many times? Uh, maybe 20 times. 20 times, okay. And how, how far is the first training flight? Uh, only two, three kilometers, two miles. Okay, and you slowly go further, further? Yes. What's your farthest distance? Uh, that is 50 kilometers. So 50 kilometers before the first race? Yes, and the first race, then they go uh, with the club to Kivrin, 130 kilometers. So 130 kilometers for the first race after the first race yes you train by the motor car uh, it depends that can be yes sometimes once a week twice a week uh, in the end of the season uh, when the old birds are coupled again I do that also uh, I do one or two times in the week one or two times in the week but and how far 50 kilometers 40. 40, okay. And you, uh, will, will these, because when is the first Youngbird race? What time of year? 
That's the beginning of June, almost. Beginning of June. Will you separate these or leave them all together? Uh, they stay together. They stay together. So everyone's happy. But at the moment, I, I make a mistake. Uh, in this loft, only 55 pigeons have their own place, and I have 70 in the in the yes. loft. I was going to say, there's more pigeons than perches. Is this okay? No, it's not okay. So you're going to adjust this? Uh, I do. I will do something. So more on the side to, to sit. And this isn't a very big section. This is again uh, not too big. Eh? What would you say? Uh, eight feet, maybe? Yes. Yes. Eight feet by, uh, I'd say what? Five feet. Yes. yes. And you will have seven. You're going to have about seventy in here to start. Do you have another section or no for young birds? Not yet, uh, but yes, I will have. But we will meet later. We will meet later. So this is the first. This is your first round of the young birds. Mm -hmm. They look very good. Again, you see the health. If the youngsters don't look right, if they don't, uh, they don't show the intelligence, they're eliminated. He doesn't show them how to drink. He has the old hens to two, teach them. Only two. Uh, two old hens to give them a little uh, bit of help for the first couple days. Only three or four days. Three or four days to get the, to figure it all out. And you see, and it does not matter uh, from which couple it, it come, because I killed two now. Eh? So you eliminated uh, two uh, from uh, from seventy two, but one of the mothers from that two is a very good pigeon, but I did not care. So bye bye. You don't. He does not look. Luke does not look at who they're from. If it's not to his standard. They are removed from the race team. Yes. He doesn't put up with with uh, nonsense. I said se. I said bye bye. He says bye bye. <laughs> and, the, and the mother is a first prize winner. It's a very good pigeon. And that sometimes that happens, does it not, Luke? Some they're all they're all not good ones. It happens. I don't know why, but uh, I know I bought the father. It's a uh, it's a brother of the first national ace pigeon. But he did not breed too good. <laughs> so it happens. Huh? It happens. Uh, not always good. Yes. Uh, the sun is not shining every day. Eh? Yes. Uh, when I'm, not all the pigeons will will have the good quality. And when I think that's not good enough, that pigeon will will not stay. Now, you, will you use any type of medication on the youngsters, or what time of season will you use any? Uh, in in a couple of weeks, when they do the vaccination, mm -hmm. uh, I I take some babies, and uh, the vet will will find out what's necessary. Okay. And then I do. So if they say you need to treat for coccidiosis, you'll treat, or canker, you treat. But coccidiosis, that will not be. Okay. Uh, it's not a problem here. All right. But uh, uh, trichomonas, yeah. Everybody has to do something at one for, point, I think. For respiratory? Yes. For respiratory, yes. And as you see, it's a very nice little loft. They are similar. Everybody, yes, they look the same. Little peas in a pod, as they say. So here we are, Lisbeth. Luke van der Plaats, you've seen the youngster loft. Very simple, guys. This is very, very simple. Super results. Thank you very much for showing us this. Thank you. Here we are with Lisbeth and Luke van der Plaats in Belgium. We are now going to look at your widowhood hens. Yes. I have 16. Uh, you can watch. At the moment, they did not breed already. I will couple them the 1st of March. That's next week. And uh, they only have the eggs, no youngsters for them. And they will be coupled with breeding cocks. Uh, breeding cocks who stay, who, who don't race. Most of them are yearlings, I think. 
10 yearlings and 6 old but that's 6 of proven pigeons huh? and they each have their own their own perch yes I, I have two sections for them okay when they become lesbian I can change one of the lesbian pair okay and uh, you have them on the grading how often do you let the the hens out uh, one time in a day one time in the day how long do you want them to fly for uh, one hour no flag nothing they go on their own uh, the, yes yes uh, in the beginning of the season the flag maybe okay just uh, to get and, them going and I, I, I don't let them walk on on the roof you don't let them walk on the roof uh, when they when they stop the training they enter the loft so as soon as they're done they come in they see cocks no uh, cocks and no no they don't see cocks in the week they come on this loft and they stay on this loft okay and uh, when the race is near I, I bring them to the loft of the cocks and then they can stay together 15 minutes there so they see the cocks 15 minutes and then when they come home from the race day they come in the same section as the babies come in pretty much yes same yeah. same uh, set of traps it's good with the doors huh? I uh, like the doors it's everything good with the everything is straight it's good with the doors then they can also to take a shower in the winter I have an aviary there then the loft uh, keeps dry so you let them out in the aviary they have a bath yeah you bath them how many times a week once a week uh, maximum eh? two times in a month you only ba bath them two times in a month why it's enough it's enough uh, what before the race after the race no not for the race they they must be silky when it rains and you do the shower uh, one day before it's not so good they need the oil on the feathers so you never bath them before they're okay if the race though is going to be a nice sunny day okay uh, it's okay okay so but as long as the weather's not bad when, when they expect rain uh, they need the oil on the feathers huh? okay you cannot uh, do them don't take the oils off leave the oils on leave mother nature on them yes. okay so uh, the, this is the one hen section and I take it that's the other one yes so you'll if the hens start to become lesbian you switch yes okay but now in this loft some late breads are that's okay but, but they're the, the same they, they will move uh, when the hens from the widowers come they must sleep here okay that must that that means the uh, the late breads must disappear to another loft at that moment okay uh, what do you find better in the in the yearlings and old birds hens or cocks for flying I like both uh, I think uh, when they are good I like that and the best hands are very good we know that everybody knows that some big specialists big names only race with with hands the last seasons from the Wauwer Daniels uh, more more people like that there were uh, and but you must take care uh, some people who who do the total with the wood with both have better results with the hen because the cock lose the motivation a little bit when they have to wait when they come back right uh, they they are not the same anymore after a couple of weeks no it takes the uh, the fire out of them yes okay so but this is uh, sometimes I I do a little bit darkness here you darken the hands uh, yes then they are more calm more calm and how long will you fly how many seasons do you uh, fly the hands very long uh, in 2022 I will have two hands of 2016 in the racing loft and two hens from 2017 also so you're, you're talking you're going to be flying some hens that are between seven and eight years old yes that's possible it's possible very simple setup again 
but uh, uh, this this one is better uh, than they they are not so lesbian huh? hmm? yeah so you you put the grating down yes this, i notice in the other sections there's no grating but where the hens are you put the grating to slow down the lesbianism yes yes if that's a word and any special feed when you're feeding the, the hens no no light mix uh, light to heavy all, all, all the pigeons receive a little bit light mix uh, except the uh, the last three days before the race then they they must have enough uh, it depends what what distance when it's for Kivrin sprint 130 they eat different than pigeons for 300 miles okay so flying Kivrin do you measure the feed? No. Uh, by, just by eye? No. By feel? How, how do you feed? Uh, everything in the same. They do not eat individual. Okay. Uh, they eat all together and I give enough. But after five or ten minutes, I take away. As much as they want for five or ten minutes? Yes. You put a watch on? Five or ten minutes? Uh, it's a feeling. It's a feeling, okay. So not by a book, just by feel. You watch them, you see how they're eating? Yes. You see, ah, oh, one or two go for a drink, you take the feet away? Yes. Okay. Uh, when, uh, in the beginning of the week, uh, it's it's more light mix. Light mix, uh, more barleys? Yes. Soft flour, light? Yes. At the end of the week, uh, they must have energy. Yeah? Okay. Any uh, oils you put on the feed? Uh, I do uh, the the white drops on the on the foot. White drops. That's against uh, the cancer. Like yellow drops, you mean? Uh, yeah, the yellow drops. Yellow drops on the feed. Yes. You put yellow drops on the feed and on you the put, feet. Do you put any powder? No. Uh, no. Vitamins, nothing like this in the feed. Uh, they. They receive also a mix, a, a mineral mix from a shop. Uh, they eat, they like to eat very much. Everything is in that mix. Like all in one or Javadi, like this. It's that. Javadi. It's that. I know. You see, he's feeding the good stuff. Okay, so you're using yellow drops on the feed once a week. What day? Uh, day after they came back. Okay, so. Morning after they came back. Okay, so they come home Saturday morning, Sunday, you're going to give them the yellow drops on the feed yes you oil you you wet it make it and let mm. it sit and then feed yeah, yeah yeah and that's a light mix as well yes for sure when the birds come home heavy mix or light mix uh not so light then they must eat a little bit more more gasoline so when the birds come home from the race you give them all the feed they want yes full all day eat 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 Yes, uh, I, they need the gasoline then. Yes, so build them back up and then the morning after they get a light mix mm. with, the, with the yellow drops on the feed <coughs> and you, you light for the rest of the week until the three days before the race. Then you start to build up again. Yes. Peanuts? Uh, sometimes, yes. It's, uh, they like very much yeah. and uh, you, you make a better connection with the pigeons then. So you feed the peanuts individually? Uh, that can be. You do a little bit? Uh, not too much. <laughs> no? Not too much. Okay. okay. And also the babies, they like very much. Then they become friends with the boss. Huh? Friends with the boss. You're the boss. Uh, and hey, Lisbeth is the big boss. If you don't do a good job, you're going to be fired. I'm only a worker. You're only a worker. So a very nice loft. There's quite a bit of pigeons in this loft and you smell no pigeon it smells nice sweet smell good ventilation again we talk every section is the same and no no heat no heat in no the heat and this loft faces the north which isn't the best as we talked about it's earlier. not the best but still getting uh, but in the in the heat of the season uh, everything is possible uh, maybe in the in the cold uh, April, uh, it's it's a yeah, 
It's not the best. Not so good. But as the season gets going, it gets better, better, better. But I have another loft also there uh, that is with the nose to the east. Uh, then the, the the first pigeons uh, come there in the first month of the season. Because the morning sun, yes. warmer. Yes. yes. But it's it's not so bad to have the condition on the different moment with different lofts. Question: You you exercise the hens once a day, the same time every day? Yes. You take them road training? Uh, no, almost no. not. Almost not. Before the first race, how many times? Before the first race, I do uh, maybe six times. To 50 kilometers? Maximum. So maybe 10, 50, 10 20, no, 30? Uh, uh, three, three or four, even with old birds. Yes. Like a kid. Like a kid. <laughs> Starts very small and all the way up. Yes. So six times and they all fly every day at the same time. Is it a guaranteed routine every day a certain time, pretty much? Uh, normally, uh, they, the widowers uh, go out at eight. After they, they are in the loft, the hands go. Uh, and then afterwards the, the cocks go. But when it rains at eight, I wait a little bit. Eh? Yeah. Uh, you, I'm, not, I'm not crazy and uh, say it's eight you must go in the storm. Eh? No. It's not necessary for me. Not with the old ones. No, no. Okay. Uh, so you use a bit of common sense? Yes. Uh, because the condition uh, can be ruined. A little bit. Uh, when they. I don't know, but they must know the rain and the bad weather. So if it's raining, just simple rain, you're okay. It's okay. But if it's a hurricane winds and rain and lightning, no. No. They stay in. So common sense, but you play them in the weather. Uh, if, it's, if it's drizzling lightly, will you road train them? Uh, no. No. So no rain for training? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. I have the time. Uh, I have. Time. I can choose. You can choose. So you'll wait a little bit until the weather clears, then you go for a short toss. That's possible. Okay. So, so there you have it. You've seen the widowhood cocks. You've seen the youngsters, and you've seen the widowhood hens. Yes. And now we go to the next loft. Uh, there, the, at the moment, they are breeding a couple. Some of them are breeding at the end on the on the second X, but they must be ready to receive the the racing hands next week. It doesn't end here. Thank you for showing us the hens, the youngsters, and the widowhood cocks. Lisbeth Luke van der Plaats of Belgium. You see it. Very simple. Very easy. Very common sense, and absolutely tremendous results. Thank you. Here we are, Lisbeth and Luke van der Plaats. We are looking at a breeding section. In this section, uh, 16 cocks are at the moment. They bred uh, two, two babies in the winter and had some eggs, second round. And now, uh, the 1st of March, they will receive uh, a new hen. They, they will have a, a racing hen. And they don't breed all summer. They, they are just the partners of the, the racing hens. But f for a couple of cocks and, and also the hens, I must have the eggs for sure, because they are my best pigeons. So this is the best of the best? Some of them, yes. Uh, that one won four first prices. The 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 checker white flight won four first prizes. And and now uh, he's coupled with the hen I bought. 
from a very good loft, you know Vandana Bale van Passen? Yes. She's, that hen is from that loft. Okay. Uh, to, to make the distance a little bit. Now, when you bring in pigeons from the outside, you purchase, right? Because everyone purchases pigeons. Regardless of the price, how long will you give? Let's say, for instance, this pied hen, you buy her and you bring her in and breed out of her. How long will she get before you know if she's the good ones or not so good? Uh, the first, the first must be, I must, when I lose the, the youngsters from a purchase. First race? I don't like. You huh? don't like. And uh, then, then it's almost over. <laughs> I don't like losing. Huh? So they have to show you right off the hop. Yes, they must come come home. At least that. Huh? Okay. From some couples, you can keep everything. Other couples, uh, you lose a lot of youngsters. I hate that couples. Hmm? So you're looking for performance, at least coming home right away. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, this cock has a, has, has a special story. Uh, this cock raised very good and became ace pigeon in another loft. I bought him and then he raised here in my loft. So, and in both lofts, he, he won first prices, and it's a difference of two kilometers. Okay, so you're saying that this cock right here, yes, he was raced as a youngster in another and, loft and a yearling, and a yearling. So, he raced two seasons at someone else's loft. Yes, you've made a purchase, some yes. you purchased them, and then you decided to race them from here. Yes, and, and you're he, two kilometers away. Yeah, and he did also <laughs> a couple of first prices here now. That's super intelligence? I think. And he's breeding good ones? Uh, yes, I... You're happy? Uh, I'm happy with him. All the way. All the way. So you're not afraid to uh, purchase a pigeon, break it and fly it? Easy no, to break? Uh, no, I, I'm not afraid. You're always looking to add better? Yes, uh, you, you cannot stop. Uh, it's a never ending story. I show you the system of the box. Okay. So you open that up, yes? The, the cocks like very much to sit here. And then you can do this. To but now we don't like. That's okay, he's a little excited, it's the camera. So now you close this off. Uh, this is a good position to, to let... Um, the hen in. Yes, also that. And when you, when you have a new couple, you do this. Wow. A lot of possibilities. This is a very nice setup. Yes. So it gives you options. And it's also a big one. Deep box, very deep. Yes, it's, it's almost as, uh, two and a half feet deep, these boxes. You see the depth in here. The cock is way, way back in there. So it's almost like having two boxes. Yes. Uh, but you see what's possible. You can open this and then the the couple can travel, right? Uh, and when it's a new hen, mm -hmm. she can be here without fighting, right? Uh, and this one is also very nice. Uh, the cocks sing, sing. When, when they sit here, right? So they can romance them, have fun, relax. So it's a very easy setup. How did you come up with this? I bought. You bought. Very nice. What would you call, what's the name of this box? Uh, Is it a special name? No. I, I've never seen one this like this though. But it's, it's very good. It's all magnetic. Yes. Uh, I bought from an old man who died. Ah. And I did not really know uh, where he did. Beautiful box, and you see just how large that box is. 
you put your, I mean there, my hand, my arm's all the way in and it still has another arm's length to go. This cock is a real beauty, this guy. And they're all the same, these boxes. You see this one here, maybe a little bigger light. It does the same, same thing. Who is this pied hen? She's pretty, very pretty. She's a good looking woman. Yes, she's, uh, I, she's also introduced. She's new. She's the bloodline Dirk van Dijk, Marcel Wouters. Okay. The white one is from the Leeuw. Okay. I understand, yes. So this is a new hen. Uh, yes, but she, she bred already three winners in the, uh, for her first owner. She's a proven hen. A proven hen. There you have it. Very simple. Again, do they get to go in the aviary as well? Y yes, yes, yes. Oh, this okay. is the place they take the shower. Almost everything. Uh, everything they, can come in here and have a they, shower. They come here. Uh, you, you see? Yeah. And and uh, the loft keeps dry. Okay, so when you let the the youngsters in here for a shower or in the aviary, you close up all these. Yes, or every, yes, 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 yes. They get locked in. Yes. And the but, babies can uh, come. But, but the 50 babies don't come. Of 70 babies don't come here. They, they must do there. Yeah. But these 16 hens. All the hens. It's the hens that you bring all, over. All the cocks from there. Oh, they come over. But not the babies. That's not too the, much. Too much. Okay, so very simple. You want to give them a bath, they come out into here. Yes. And the breeders, any special medications, anything you, you like to give to the breeders? Uh, they don't fly out. Okay. Uh, some do, because that one, that one, that one were very good racers. Now they are on pension. They are first prize winners all. And different times, some again. Uh, they they receive more medicine and vitamin um, not not medicine they receive a lot of vitamin yeah a lot more vi vitamins because they can't go outside they yes, can't hunt yes. for it you 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 make sure they have everything that they need yes 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 and again you see it's the same simple ceiling and uh, some some of the boys are old uh, there's a cock from 12 years right and he fill this is a this this is a beautiful cock. This one right here. He's a good breeder. He's eight years. Eight years. This is a beautiful hen as well. You can see the cockbirds. Lots of character in them. Look at this guy. A very nice, very calm loft. Happy loft. You can see it. They're showing no. Uh, they're not nervous even that I'm in here. No, no, they are okay. Huh? They're okay. And they are not used with cameras. Yes, the, the mealy hen there, the, 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 the strawberry hen, very nice. Van de, from Passe van der Abel. Yeah. First time trying? Uh, no, uh, I have, now I have healings from her. And who's, who's this old guy down here? Uh, that's the, the father from the blue cock you liked so much in the first loft. Okay. Yeah, with the third uh, the, bar. Uh, this one. Yes. Uh, that's the father from the checker pipe in the first loft. Okay. Yes, they must prove something. Uh, when I don't have ki children, they, they go. They go. So he doesn't mess around. He keeps it simple. Lots of vitamins. Clean water. Lots of vitamins. And uh, they have to breed the good ones right from the word go. If no good ones are left, yes, they go. When he has no left out of the pairs, if they don't even come home, they're gone. Yes, also. No bullshit, no fooling around. It's small loft, need results. Uh, and s selection on uh, when they must uh, do something, they must do. Otherwise, I take another one. That's a right. A new chance. Oh, who is this one here? That's a good one. Who's this one? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll have that one. <laughs> the mealy. The, the mealy. Yeah. It's a stickers donkers. Stickers donkers. I feel like having a candy bar. It's so nice. Beautiful. Oh, you just see he came out of the box the way he came out on camera. It's like he said nobody talked about me yet. <laughs> nice pigeon. 
Yes, sir. He's the first prize winner from Orleans. Uh, 210, almost 300 miles. On, on a very tough race. Uh, it's a strong one. Yeah. It's a sprinter, but very strong. Very strong. Uh, pigeons, the numbers roughly, how big the numbers flying against? Competition? Uh, 600. 600. Okay. But it's on, in the end of the season, and uh, then only the good one race. In the beginning of the season, it can be 2,500, but the worst stop yeah. or disappear. There's another beautiful cock in the box. Look at him cooing. Look at the character in that pigeon. What a pigeon. What a pigeon here. Lisbeth, Luke van der Plaats, Belgium. It's, the weather is absolutely horrible here today. The wind is anywhere from 50 to 100 kilometers an hour outside. We are in this loft. I'm going to be honest. The temperature is perfect. It's not cold. There's no draft. The pigeons are happy. It's, it's not too warm. No. Well, we're not in Florida, but I get it. We go inside. We go inside now, guys. Thank you. Luke, thank, thank you, you for this. Thank you. I hope you guys appreciate this. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions again. Lisbeth, Luke van der Plaats of Belgium. You've seen the stock. You've seen the widowhood hens. You've seen the youngsters. And you've seen the widowhood cocks. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Brian. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We hope you enjoyed that amazing loft tour. Please, reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Until the next loft tour, thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.